Welcome back to City Girls River 1, Dan. I'm alive. You know, you know. It has been a bad week to be a former like government leader of this, hasn't it? <laughs> you know, we we it's great. We have a lot to talk about today. Which one? Uh, for starters, Silvio Berlusconi died, and most people are gonna be like, "Who's that?" Uh, he was Italian prime. Is Italian president? I forget. But uh, a it's few years the, ago, it's, it's he the guy that accidentally queued up the Tifa porn. No, no, no. He, he uh, wouldn't accidentally have done it. He's the guy who more or less actually did just straight up fill his cabinet with, like, porn stars. In fact, he was, he, was, he was watching that happen going, yes! He was a bit of a sleaze. And by a bit, I mean I'm a lot of a sleaze. But yeah, he died, and that's like, who cares? <laughs> um, which one on first, though? Uh... 37 counts. 37 counts. <laughs> Of espionage. <laughs> Come on, guys, don't stock all of them. Come on, that's rude. You don't need to do all of those accounts. Come on, you don't need to, stack even need to get to this point because he was oh. asked by like the archivist, "Hey, look, can you just give us back the documents, please." He was like, "What documents?" Oh yeah, no, he completely fucked himself. I was making fun of like things I saw in the news, and they're like, "Man, they really should be stocking all the stacking all these uh, charges. It's really." Really, there's no real need for that. And I'm like, yes, there is, actually. <laughs> Should have committed all them crimes, then. Like, literally, it's not like when you commit a crime, it's like, do one crime, get one free. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, if, it... if only it was how that worked. Don't you wish? I... Yeah, I would have so much crime stocked up. Think of the savings, Dan. Yeah, do the six. savings. It's like, it's like, do a crime, get one free. All right, then I'll just, uh, I'll do some blue collar crime here, and then I'll murder somebody. Ah, uh, that was my free crime. You can't charge me with it. That's my free Curses. crime. Free crime. Free crime. Curses! He played the system. Here's my free crime coupon. He knows yeah. it too well. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah, we joke. It sounds like the perfect system to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, thirty-seven. I won't lie. I was fucking surprised. Like, so, like. When I came home from work, I literally come home, I'm, I'm checking on my cat, and I just look up at the TV, and I'm just like, Trump, a uh, uh, Trump arrested. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I literally sat there staring at the screen like, oh, oh, we're actually doing, huh? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he like made a big to-do about it, too. Honestly, yeah, and, and good, yeah, honestly. He thought he's gonna say that he's gonna complain because everyone's ganging up on poor old Trump. Like it's not his fault he took all of these highly classified documents away to his well, home. He, he had the option to just be like quietly arrested in the middle of the night. Yeah. And he, and he's like, no, I want you to march me out in front of in front of all my followers on TV. So okay. Like, Cause yeah, he that's was, what you want. He was also trying to get them to riot. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I I I, I, I guess he was I guess he was hope, hoping that if they march him out like. They just start like you know jumping over the barricade and like taking him off to their secret Trump dungeon headquarters or something to plan their takeover of the U.S. I, I mean, what was it? They they he did do a post on his like shitty uh, social media thing that he created, uh, basically telling them to uh, riot. And then uh, he took it down real quick when he realized, wait a minute, the prosecutor can use that against me. When he realized, wait a sec, this is how I got into this mess in the first place. So he's just that guy from Avatar, like, hey, everybody, riot! Kinda. But, uh... uh so, yeah, that's been a thing. So, yeah, uh, again, couldn't happen to a nicer asshole. I'm glad that we're actually fucking doing it. I didn't think we would- I didn't think it would happen, because we we've talked about it before on here that we're like, yeah, he's not going to get anything. Well, he ain't been actually tried yet. Yeah, yeah, but this is still further than I thought we'd get. I still wonder what they're going to do, because they're like, yeah, we can't put him in jail. House arrest, probably. House arrest, probably. Yeah, I mean, house arrest for the rest of his life. Yeah. And then the real kick will be when they come and take his house. <laughs> for all the money he owes. Yeah, well, I mean... Isn't he out for, like, massive amounts of fraud in New York? Uh, yeah, that's why he stays out of New York. Because if he goes to New York, they can grab him. Not even a joke. Oh, I'm aware. Uh, no, it's more for the audience. You got to remember, there's people listening to us. Like, three people. Oh, no. 
they somehow won't know about the crimes of Donald Trump. Somehow. Meanwhile, over here, Boris. Ah, uh, what'd Boris do? Um, lots of things. So, right. So, you know, the thing that got him in trouble was because he was doing the whole party thing during COVID. Yes. So a few more part. Oh, so the investigation into that finally concluded, and the report was published, and it basically said, "Oh yeah, he intentionally misled Parliament, which you can't do," and basically said that he would that, uh, recommended that they suspend him for you know thirty day or like ninety days, which is tantamount to you're sacked anyway. So in a fit of pure Borisness, he uh, quit. Like just a day before the like, report was f was published to the pe published because he'd seen an advanced copy of it. He saw the writing on the wall, literally. Uh, so he's quit and he's declaring, "Oh no, it's a kangaroo court. It's all it's all wrong. They accused me of doing these things that I definitely did, and that's not right." Hey, don't accuse me and of he, crimes that I commit. And he uh, tried to get uh, and he uh, tried to get a lot of his. Uh, uh, I'd say I hate to say the term friends. Uh, Associates. Lackeys? Lackeys. 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 Minions. Lackeys. 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 Yeah. Minions and Pleasure to use. Even the rare import stuff. Uh, Music hurts my Cannon but, fire! Yeah, tried to get them to also reside, and a couple did, but one of them is not because she's like, why am I not getting my peerage? Because when you're a Prime Minister and you're leaving, you have the option to recommend people for titles. It's just a thing. And so Boris's list was in contention because he recommended just basically all of his friends who are all incompetent fuckwits. Oh, and also his dad, who is also an incompetent fuckwit. Oh, of course. But you know, that's just genetics for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, not been a great week to be a former leader of the, of the government. Wonder who else we can get it squeezed in to get on dead or disgrace this week. Oh, if only we could get... Putin. Oh. Yeah, he's not former in that. I mean, but he could die. He could die. He I'm guessing he's already kind of disgraced as far as everyone outside of oh, Russia yeah, is concerned. Does he have? I mean, I'm pretty sure if he goes to like any like Western country, he's I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if he step, I'm pretty sure he steps outside of his uh, his little bubble Russia. of influence of Russia, he'll be shot. Or just arrested for war crimes because they've basically accused him of because like you know international courts have accused him of war crimes. Yeah, literally, he, he literally can't leave Russia. Yeah, he can't leave his like mansion, or the Russians will like he 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 didn't go to that uh, that one guy's funeral. He's like, oh no, I'm too busy, and people were like, no, nah, he was just afraid if he went, he'd be like sniped. Yeah, because I mean, th 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 there's a lot of people in Russia chomping at the bit at the, just the chance. Or just straight up like running up to him and shooting him. Yeah, like they're they're biting at the bit just to get the chance. It's to do it's, it. it's like it's like there's 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 one guy who like is trying to see him, some dip diplomat guy about something. I'm like, yeah, he's 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 not gonna meet with you. He won't he won't leave his he won't leave his his armed uh, fortress that he's basically spent the last several months in. Yeah, good luck trying to get him. <laughs> oh. but, uh, but yeah, that's just being fun in the news. Fun, all, fun for everyone in the news, really. Don't worry. I can have stuff that is less um, extreme, but still funny. Footage from the, the Flash movie has leaked, and it looks fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. All right, I, I, the only thing I've really heard about is uh, zombie Christopher Reeve. Have you have you seen the fucking uh, uh, Saber? Have you seen the scene of him of like the two flashes running? No, but I've seen the scene of Nicolas Cage Superman fighting a giant spider. <laughs> which which for those of you for those of you who don't know is was a thing that was going to be in the canceled movie that John Peters was producing because John Peters was, was obsessed with the idea of giant spiders and everything. And that's why that's why when he finally got to produce a movie called with Wild Wild West, there's a giant mechanical spider. That because giant fucking was, mechanical spider. Because he was like, There's gotta be a spider, man. The, the executives are like, Yeah, he, yeah, he, he kept insisting we put a spider into every movie he was he was working on for like two solid years, he finally got it. And then what do you know it bombed? And I've also seen the big twist at the end. But, um, what is the twist? Okay, Tell me, I'm uh, not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it either. Oh, okay, the twist is that the twist is that uh, the twist is that Flash has seemed to fix everything except Batman is now George Clooney. 
Oh. Instead of either Michael Keaton or Ben Affleck. Michael he's Keaton. Like, Christian Bale. Yeah, no, he's, he's like, Barry's like, oh, okay, and then he gets a call from Bruce Wayne. He's like, you sound weird. And he's like, oh, it's all right, Barry, I'll be right over. And then George Clooney walks up and he's like, who are you? And he's like, what are you talking about, Barry? And he's like, oh, yeah, ha, 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 ha. And then the movie ends. Well, and that movie looks like such trash. I want to remind you, this is the movie that they decide to stick all their guns to. And here's something that's also funny. Warner Brothers have been super aggressive about anything getting leaked out, like flagging it and taking it down. Like, within minutes, like they'll they'll take it down. It's fucking hilarious. Well, yeah, they, they, ba they basically padded it with like, hey, look, it's that character via CGI. And um, like, even like scenes there, that are like... There's CGI, like... there's CGI Christopher Reeves, there's CGI original Supergirl, there's CGI Adam West. Well, uh, there's also, um, which, you know, uh, don't you love bringing in dead actors? Um, but the other thing, too, is... um. Like, like, even stuff like someone did, like, a, a goofy edit where they had, like, Ezra Miller putting a baby in a microwave. No, that actually happens in the movie. <laughs> for, for context, he puts a baby in a microwave for it to not get hit by debris. Because it's he's in he's he's doing like he's doing like a quicksilver uh, you know like slow motion save everyone scene and, and one of it is throwing a baby into a microwave to protect it. So yeah, that's that's not an edit that actually happens in the movie. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm sure it makes sense in context. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this makes the fucking uh, refrigerator scene in Indiana Jones look logical. I mean, was anybody under any pretense that this movie wasn't gonna? Uh, no, but I want to. I just want to rub it in because again. No, that I think they were just they were just desperately hoping enough people would care about my. Uh, people said Michael Keaton is not even in the movie all that much. Well, we've seen all of his scenes in the trailer. Yeah, there, there. Someone's, someone's like, if you hate Ezra Miller, you're not gonna like this movie because the movie is basically like 98% Ezra Miller talking to yeah, himself. Yeah, because he's like four characters, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, uh, he's, like, most of the cast, he knows where the bodies are hidden, so they can't replace him. Um, the, the, C the CGI effects look worse than something that AVGN would do, not even a joke. He knows where the bodies are hidden. So, so, someone says that. Ezra Miller doesn't have a lot of, a lot of chemistry with himself. It just, it just seems like Ezra being annoyed by this twerp version of himself. Was just two flashes, and yeah, some, someone, someone basically said that uh, Ezra Miller got passed around a lot by Hollywood execs when he was like a little kid. So they're like, we have to keep this guy's career going, or else he'll ruin all of us. A lot or, of us or, have done some or, shit to him, or kill him. We've done Either some or. shit to them. We got, we gotta keep, we gotta, we gotta fucking yeah. keep giving them stuff. But I think, I think they're gonna use this excuse. To, I mean, because it's, it's not doing great. Like people are seeing it and they're like, it's okay at best. It's so it's okay at best, but if you hate Ezra Miller, you're gonna find it ridiculously offensive. And who doesn't hate Ezra Miller these days? Yeah, Ezra Miller. Are you sure about that? I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure even Ezra Miller doesn't like himself at this point. Nah, I think Ezra Miller is the one person who likes Ezra Miller. Like you, you, you could tell. You could tell by the fact that they, like all, they did no. He did no promos for this movie. Wasn't that because he's you know, you know a criminal? <laughs> yeah, he's guilty of a lot of crimes. And he was probably told, keep the fuck away from these promos. Yeah, because they were probably afraid. So they're like, so so what about all those crimes you did? And they're like, uh... No, they're afraid he'd go full Kanye. So, what if you do? so uh, Ezra, you want to tell us about this movie? I love Hitler. You and everyone else, but noise don't love you, so beat it. I love joke slamming people. Yeah, so, uh... I just love assaulting people. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, love, I, I, I love kidnapping people and making them work on my weed farm. Beat it. And someone said they already changed the ending to make it not what did you say your name was? lead into anything else except for, you know, George Clooney. Like, apparently apparently the original ending was, like, Michael Keaton and the other Supergirl were stuck in his universe as, like, a upcoming film sl slots that they were going to be in, but that's clearly not going to happen now. No. So, yeah, I think this is it. I think this, they're just going to be like, well, all right, it didn't do that great, so goodbye, Ezra. So the lesson I think we can all learn is don't build your massive tentpole yeah. like multi-film franchise all around one actor because that one actor could be a ma could be a fuck up. 
He's also probably too old. He's getting too old to be the Flash now. Like, this movie was shot, like, five years ago. So if they're going to be like, oh, okay, time for more. I mean, I mean, I know he's only, like, 30, but still they're going to be like, why did he suddenly age five years? I bet one of them has a VIP pass. Oh, you know, reasons. Yeah. Good reasons. So, I, yeah, I, I think that's... I mean, I, I, think, th I think the main reason... Oh, uh, if you if you didn't hear, apparently Disney moved back everything for like years. Uh, yeah, because Kang, I imagine. Is... Yeah, well, yeah, because I, I think I said I think I think they're just waiting to see like everything that's gonna blow over and who they can get rid of, so they don't end up with a flash situation where they're like, oh god, we sunk we sunk millions into this movie, we have to release it. So they Avatar. Did, the Avatar got delayed, obviously, because they were afraid of competing with uh, Sonic. Clearly, Avatar Five got delayed to twenty thirty one. Fuck all the, these movies. There's, there's people that are like, I'm gonna be dead in 2031. I hope James Cameron is one of them. I don't think he will be. But yeah, people like James Cameron is gonna be in his 80s in 20. And he may not be in, in shape to direct movies anymore. Even movies where you don't have to do anything because it's all just CGI and it's the same movie again. There's, there's this one online guy is like, he's like, I'm 58 years old. I may not be alive in 2031. Uh, yeah, Disney is uh, in trouble because everything's been delayed. Well, I mean, I mean, everything's been delayed because they're bleeding. They're bleeding money, and they have this. They have these massive problems coming, and the writer strike ruined everything. And all of their actors are revolting and saying how much they, they didn't like doing the latest MCU movies. And yeah, they're. Oh. I mean, the, the thing they're banking on is freaking the Marvels. And the problem they're, is Brie's already upset because she's not the only one. They're on the banking movie. on Brie Larson to save them. That's not a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Why are you doing this again? We've we've discussed this. Stop doing that. And she's already mad because she's like, oh, I have these other actors here, and people yeah, like them more. People like them more. Yeah. So she was like, I was supposed to get my three movies. My right white star. privilege. And they're, and they're again, like, I don't care. And they're like, well, you know. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have played her more likable. Maybe you shouldn't be such an uncharismatic shithead. Like, come on. I mean, I, know, Bree, I mean, in, no, in, I, I well, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if this is exactly in Bree's defense, but like, they could have done a better job trying to sell her instead of just being it, like people will like her by I default. Mean, she's going Captain by Marvel. the movie itself, she just doesn't have any charisma. Well, I know, but I mean, like, they could have used her in other films and like worked her up to like try and get audiences to like her a little before i i get that but i don't think it would have worked like, i don't has... think it, i don't i don't think it would have worked but they could have tried like the... like with when with anthony mackie they at least spent a real long time making people like him before they made him a star and gave him a starring role and it kind of sort of worked people didn't like falcon the winter and, and soldier that much but they liked him Except for that scene at the end where he's like, we gotta do better, Senator. I think the real problem you have, though, is it took them so long to actually get around to, you know, putting her in a movie and giving her her own movie. That yeah, by the time I, it comes out, like, no one gives a shit. I can't, like, believe I'm I can't believe I'm saying this, but Joss Whedon would have done a better job with her. Yeah, honestly. He, because he, he wanted to introduce her in the, in the first Avengers movie and slowly build her up to becoming a superhero it probably would have been a better actress cho choice too to be honest that that too yeah they, someone said they picked they picked brie larson because she won an award and they thought she was going to be like the superstar and that they should get her lock her in on a on a contract while she was still cheap and uh yeah what is she what has she done in the last couple years fucking all no yeah it turns out that was a fluke win and then everyone realized oh no never mind because again like like i mean I, I forgot which character she was in the scott pilgrim movie and i enjoy that movie because it, then when oh, you told me which one, that. when you told me which one it was, because I was like, oh, she's the, uh, the, the, I was like, oh, it's the girlfriend, right? The uh, Ramona's girlfriend. You're like, no, it's Scott's. And I was like, I forgot that she existed. I mean, to be fair, there's only two characters she could have played. I mean, she wasn't there's Mary Elizabeth. Ones. I mean, she was she wasn't Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and she wasn't the Asian girl. So, like, like she's not gonna be fucking Kim Pine. No. She does not have Kim Pine charisma. Yeah, so so I'm like, all right, so yeah, it was it was either the Ramona's girlfriend or Scott's old girlfriend. No, it was it was Scott's. Ramona's yeah. girlfriend was played by Mae Whitman, who is way, who is way more memorable because I actually remembered her character. Well, also she like does she's a major VA, 
and also actress, but she's mostly done VAs lately. Eh. You know, she Just was in Avatar and done a bunch of other stuff, honestly. Good for her, honestly. Not yeah, so that, that was, her, that was, I mean, that like, was even, even without that, like, and me not know, realizing that was her, she was the yeah. one that I remembered. I didn't remember the uh, Scott's girlfriend. And even, like, when I started playing back scenes in my head of her, I'm like, wow, she's boring. <laughs> that's, that's, that's because her entire scene is dominated by Brandon Routh in his vegan psychic powers. That's fair, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I mean are you going to remember her when Brandon Routh is, like, making him fly with psychic power yeah yeah, yeah no, no, honestly entirely fair honestly maybe i'm being two, too harsh and then the two and then the two guys come in and take away his powers because they're vegan police he drank milk yeah honestly you got a point i i'm probably being too harsh considering yeah <laughs> it's not surprising yeah like like y you had to really try to outshine that fucking bitch. she would have had a bigger part in the she has a bigger part in the comics but the movie the obviously. movie yeah, the movie, there's a lot of stuff that's cut out for it. Consolidated Not, it, And honestly, yeah. the movie in general, I kind of like more. There's a lot of stuff in the comic I just don't like. Well, it's because she gets into this big fight with Ramona, and the movie, like, the movie tried to downplay Ramona's fights because it was supposed to be about Scott, you know, being a champion for her. And it was like, well, yeah, if Ramona's... They also made Scott, and, and, even though he's still if, an asshole, if, they made Scott less of an asshole, too. Well, yeah, they made him into a dweeb, which yeah, I don't know... Yeah, because it's Michael Sarah. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's better or not. It's because it's Michael Sarah. He doesn't have the fucking... It's like a strong breeze could knock him over. Yeah. People are meant to be intimidated or feel like, oh, man, what a serious... serious. It's like being... It's like a fucking chipmunk threatening you. You're just like... No, I also what are you say, doing? like, Kim Pine's ca casting choice, perfect. What are you doing here, Chipmunk? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, too bad she went on to... Well, I mean, I guess she wasn't the worst thing about Picard. Oh, is she in Picard? Yeah, she was She was the his... That was, she was a scientist woman. Oh. Hey, let's be fair, it's a job. It's a job. I mean, I mean, it's ten years, so she's not a little kid anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a job. A I mean, job's a the, job. Yeah, I mean, it's not the... Like I said, she wasn't the worst character. Although she wasn't in season three at all. I mean, she's just an actor. She's not the one who wrote the fucking thing. Yeah, she wasn't yeah. in the apparent, the allegedly good season. She, she wasn't. In, well, no, she wasn't in the good season because the good season threw out everyone. Who, who like, was? They, they threw out everyone in favor of bringing back the next generation cast. All right, everyone hates what we're doing, so let's just throw on everything we've done and let's just do whatever what people like. No, like. Let's just give people what they want: more next generation cast and the old Enterprise back. And it Which worked. is maybe the smartest thing that. Paramount has done with the, done with the franchise in like in a very long time, and it, and it worked. And people were like, "All right, good game. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Well done." It's okay. They sa they saved all their idiot energy for the Halo cart, the Halo series. <laughs> this was post Halo, to be fair. Ah, oh, damn. They used up all their idiot energy for it's it. Star Trek Online, I guess, which is still okay. -ish. Maybe that's I my one friend it. plays it. I haven't played it in a few time, but it was pretty fun. I, I got a friend who plays it, so they like it, but yeah. I can't say anything because I'm not really an MMO guy. So it's like, I'm the wrong person to talk to about MMOs. I mean, the ship pedals are pretty good, too. Oh, right. So the uh, Final Fantasy 16 demo came out. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Um, this is gonna sound weird. So the actual demo, I was like, okay, this is whatever, because the main demo itself is like mostly just cutscenes and talking and talking and Game of Thrones and very Game of Thrones. And I'm like, okay. And then it has like the first of like the big summon versus summon boss battle. It's like that's cute. It's not like very interesting. It's not like the most interesting boss battle because it's mostly an on rail shooter. But you know, it's cute. And then I played like the post demo demo. Which is like this special thing where they're like, oh yeah, we'll put you like a couple chapters into the game. So you can just do play, like, see what the actual gameplay is like. And god damn, it's actually good. Well, I was like, holy shit, this is combat with death. What? I was expecting like FF15, you know, mash, 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 mash. Oh no, you're vaguely in danger, better like fly away to better jump away to like whatever this um like any number of like tele random teleport locations you can go to to get out of danger completely free while your stupid ai companions do all the work but no that's like actually looks like there's depth to this combat 
it looks fun. It seems like it's gonna actually be fun. Yeah, like I said, the, the combat apparently looks good. I don't think I'll pick it's it up, and this is a really dumb reason. I just yeah. don't like the art direction. Oh, I thought you were going to pick it up, because I'm pretty sure... Is it PS5 exclusive? Well, I mean, it's going to get on the PC later. What are you up to? Uh, I mean, it look, as I said, it's impossible to look at it and not go, oh yeah, this is this is Game of Thrones as well. Main character looks like Jon Snow, has a pet wolf. Yeah, like I said, I, I just don't care for the art direction. Like, the combat looks good. Like, I'm not going to pretend like the combat doesn't look good. I've made fun of, like, the combat in their games for a while, the, 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 the action-type ones. But I think this, the combat looks good. I just don't care for the art direction, so I just don't have any interest in it. I know that's stupid, but eh. But you are stupid, so it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'll play better games. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually played a demo, and as I said, the main demo was like, whatever. But the, de but the post-demo demo actually cool. Well, I'm looking forward to it coming out now. For a game that every time I watched the trailer, I was more and more confused as to what is this game? Like, how have they? How has there been so many trailers and they still don't know what's going on? And now I think they do know what's going on. Game of Thrones is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but probably have a better ending. Cause... That's not hard. But me, you can't do worse. You'd have to try. Uh. Yeah, that's looking fun. Uh, Capcom had their big showcase where they announced no, one hey. thing. No, they announced that Ace Attorney's getting oh, yeah, like yeah. the, two, the uh, Apollo Justice and the two 3DS games are getting a port next year. And then that was it. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, here's Resident Evil 4 VR, which you've already seen. And here's Exo Primal. Still don't know why this isn't Dino Crisis. Because this is the way they can make it a live service game. Uh, here's the, you know, head of, here's the, you know, guy behind Ghost Trick talking about Ghost Trick, and it's like, I mean, that's neat and all, but, you know, we already knew about Ghost Trick coming out. Yeah, I remember and that it, was announced at, like, a, wasn't it announced at, like, a Direct, like, a Nintendo Direct? Hey, it was announced ages ago. And, oh, yeah, Dragon Dog, Dragon's Dog for 2, anyway, here's the trailer you've already seen. Yeah, I'm like, cool, I already know all this stuff. Like, and, like don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to Dragon's Dog for 2, because I'm the psychopath who likes that game, but... I just like, can I see something new, please? And... Like, I could be more Dragon's Dog than one. I'll still buy it and be happy, but you know what I mean. And a trailer for a game that wasn't really a trailer for a game. It was, uh, yeah, sorry, this game that you I never even heard about is delayed. What game? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Well, I guess I, I guess <laughs> you're right then. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know what it is. Never heard of it before. I just know it was they showed a trailer that was like, yeah, here's some gameplay in quotations. Uh, also, it's not. Also, it's delayed. I was like, oh, well, fair enough, I guess. Sucks, to, sucks to be people who actually are hyped for this game that I can't remember. Hey, check out that sign. Daddy tuna, fifty percent off. Uh, Great, I'm starving. But yeah. yeah. Other than that. People blowing up about Starfield, you know, not appreciating that you have to wait a couple of weeks for people, for, you know, the community to fix it. Also, I know it's going to run at only 30 frames per second. People are really pissed about that. But I'm just well, like, you, you know, it'd be lucky if it runs at that because it's a Bethesda game. Yeah, I was going to say, you'd be lucky if it runs. <laughs> the highest frame rate it'll, it'll get is it's 30. That doesn't mean it's going to be stable. I had a friend who's like a big sort of PC guy, so he's like uber Bethesda defender. He's like a massive Bethesda defender. Well, I say defender, apologist. Yeah, that's a more appropriate term, I think. It just works. Except when it doesn't. Degenerate. Todd. You said it doesn't work, yeah. degenerate. And even he was like, yeah, Fallout 76. I can't believe it took him like two years to make Fallout 76 with anything in. I'm like, two years? Two. They still haven't made it. They still haven't made it a good game. Can you believe she finally but people just keep putting money into it, so it exists still, yeah, totally. and keeps getting updates. I mean, how long has it been, right? Remember, yeah. people will play dog shit. That's why the Western AAA studios suck. Six <laughs> 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 Look at Blizzard. Look at fucking Blizzard. I think 
Oh yeah, where well, they now announce there is PVE content, sort of, but also you have to pay fifteen dollars for it for the first episode, which is three missions long, which is only three missions and only takes thirty minutes to beat if you're a game journalist. Yeah. And as far as I'm aware, you don't even that's what you don't even get anything for it. Nope. Oh uh, no, I think you get like a like a skin or something. Oh. And which like I guess the, which. I guess, to be fair, by virtue of how much the skins cost is actually technically a good thing. Well, it depends on what kind of skin they give you. Pretty sure even, like, the cheapest skins are, like, $10. Christ alive. So... But yeah, uh, people will just keep buying, like, this kind of slop, and that's why uh, Western AAA sucks. Please, buy anything other than them, because they're just going to keep making this trek. Well, good thing there's a Japanese AAA game coming out next week. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you can play that, middle shelf games, fucking indies. Hell, the game I'm playing right now is a goddamn indie game. I mean, yeah, you do have to be a bit more careful. You do have to be pretty careful with the indies you pick up, though. There's a lot more good than you actually would know about, considering the fact that I, I you have to look, but then again, AAA is the same problem, where it's like, yeah, this might run, technically, but you just bought Last of Us 2. See, that's where well, you made your mistake. I didn't buy Last of Us 2. You know what I mean. None of us here would buy Last of Us 2. I haven't even seen the Last of Us show that everyone is just like, no, 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 this one's good. And I'm like, okay, but what makes it different from any other zombie boot zombie series? Especially well, when like... they got rid of the whole plant. Especially when they got rid of the whole, oh, there's zombie plant. Was it like, par or it's like, a, like a spore thing? Yeah, so instead of it being based off of, you know, that parasite plant that everyone... That... I fucking hate because after Last of Us, everyone, every so often, you'll just see some inane article that's like, could, could like, cordyceps or whatever transmit to humans? Like, no, no fucking no. No. Do you have any idea how thick the human skull is compared to the ant exoskeleton? It, like, our, our skulls are insanely thick. And I don't just mean people because they're stupid. Just like... Also, our central nervous system is significantly more complicated than an ant's. Yeah. It's just... It, yeah, it's just one of those inane... It's like one of those inane, like, fake science facts that people part out. It would, it would have to, like... The, it would have to, like, evolve in such an insane way that it would have no reason to do. Yeah, because it's uh, already do already accomplishes what it does. Why yeah. would it need to try... Why would it need to try and evolve to transmit to a much more difficult to control to control and manipulate species because you know but but then it's like when people do that whole quote of oh you only use like half of your max brain capacity it's like yeah but i'm not yeah but I, think that's only was, because I think that you... was confirmed bullshit actually well it is confirmed bullshit because you do use 100 percent of your brain just not all at once because yeah. yeah, guess what? You, you, you'd use different parts for different things. You're not doing everything you could possibly do all at once, every second of every day. Yeah. So your brain like has to your brain maximizes and minimizes how much energy it's using by not utilizing the parts that are necessary. Right. And everyone's like, oh, but if you use 100 percent of your brain, you get superpowers. Well, no, if you use 100 percent of your brain while you're busy doing something. Something you won't be distracted, and you'll suddenly start feeling hungry when you weren't or wouldn't originally because you've been so focused on the thing. Yeah. No, that's really all it would do. No, so you'd be worse at the thing you were trying to do. But superpowers. No, no, there's no superpowers. But superpowers. No. I wish, but no. There are no superpowers, and God, do I wish there were. Ah, oh, so why have I been in, why have I been getting bit by all these radioactive spiders for all these years? Uh, you should probably get a doctor to check you out, man. You might be dying. Nah, it's fine. Honestly, probably preferable at this point. Ah. <laughs> I am, um, you know, uh, as I guess somewhat relevant because Futurama's coming back. But I do appreciate Farnsworth more and more of that. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> Just fuck it. Your fist is legitimate. People aren't worth shit. Kind of hurry, really big Just boys, nuke it all. Yeah. The What's the worst that could happen? Oh, it becomes even more of a hellscape than it already is. Boo-hoo. Whatever, we're gonna punch a rock star in the face. Which one? Uh, just a noise in the video game. Not, not anybody real. Oh. I'm sorry. 
no actual rock stars were harmed in the making of this video game. But I'm not about that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't get anything else big has happened this week of big things happening. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh... Ah, no, I got nothing. Yeah, I already, I already made fun of Ezra Miller. That was fun. Her shoes are like hella amazing. And I might have just been still playing Street Fighter 6 and loving the shit out of it. Apparently, Transformers Rise of the Beast is number one, which I'm shocked at. Oh, yeah, apparently like, it's good. Well, I mean, just more apparently that it's like beating Spider Verse. That is surprising. And it has, and it has a, a tie in at the end, which everyone is going, oh, yay. Yeah, that did get spoiled for me. And, I'm, and when I heard it, I was like, oh, that is incredibly mint. Oh, I mean, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm surprised they didn't just do that from the start. I mean, you would have thought it would have been the thing they would have done ages ago, not spoiling in case Dan actually cares. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Oh, at the end, like, the human character apparently gets approached by someone that's like, we want you to join G.I. Joe! Oh. They're trying G.I. Joe again? Yeah. I, no, we, we've talked about this before. G.I. Joe just doesn't work today. Well, it's not even just that. It's See, Transformers works because there's something, you know... They're also just universal. cool robots! Yeah, they're just... Like, I got a cool robot here. He turns into a jet. Vroom, vroom. Or zoom, zoom, whatever. Look at this one. He turns into a fucking tank. This one, he turns into a truck. Ooh. This one turns robot. into a monkey. He's a big robot. And then... Then it's just military soldier men. I mean, it'll it'll work, but only if like they make them as ridiculously stereotypical as like they have the to be very cartoony. Movie. Where they like 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 they have like shipwreck going around as a guy in like a stereotypical cartoony sailor outfit talking like a bad Jack Nicholson. Yeah, they have to have that. They need to have them like act like larger than life characters again yeah. and stop trying to make them be serious. Well, yeah, like it, it'll it'll work if they play into the stereotypes that the original just, show just did. make just essentially like do what the original show did and make them superheroes basically. Yeah. And I think that's actually one of the big issues that they've had since that is that they just don't do that. No, it's like everyone everyone's a serious soldier. It's like no. They, they, they need more snow jobs basically. No job like snow job. They, they need more guys going around in full, like, Eskimo gear with ski poles attached to him in the middle of the city because he's the snow guy, and that's how he dresses. Well, you, know, just, you never know when, there's snow, when you might need the snow guy. Yeah. Oh god, I gotta dodge fucking Guitar Hero yeah, they probably pits on the ground. They'll, pro they'll probably just do it like they did the original movies. It's like a bunch of soldiers and snake eyes. It's serious, and also snake eyes is here. You gotta have snake eyes. You gotta have snake eyes. I mean, he's the easiest character to add because he doesn't take his mask off and he doesn't talk. He's just a ninja. He's just a ninja. That's, so, that's his gimmick. So any stuntman can play him. I I, I do like that the, the one guy who played him. Went like where he just wouldn't take off the outfit and wouldn't talk to people while he was on set. Well, at least he, you know, committed. Yeah, honestly, respect. Ow. <laughs> well, yeah, so I guess they're trying to do the Hasbro Cinematic Universe. Can't wait for them to do another attempt at bringing back Gem. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. She's totally outrageous. No, Jem doesn't work in the modern day. Probably not in the way, at least definitely not in the way they did They did try it a few years back. But didn't they make him like goths or something? Yeah, they made him like online influencers. Because that's apparently the, the kid's dream job these days. Every kid wants to grow up in order to uh, abuse their audience. Either sexually or financially. Can't even say that's an oof. That's just true. I was, I was, I was gonna say, yeah, the the influencer crowd is not not exactly as wholesome as they 
once appeared to be. No, there's also that guy that murdered that one girl. Oh yeah. And set, and set up his his stream is like a. Oh a, fuck a, a him! Blood. You know the worst part is that I actually didn't. I didn't watch him specifically, but I watched the people who collabed. Uh, watch people who collabed with him at one point. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that was, when that when basically they did an announcement video to say, oh yeah, we're for obvious reasons we cut we are uh, cutting getting ties. rid of all of those cutting ties and get rid of, and unlisting all those videos. Yeah. And I'm like, fucking hell. Like, it's, know, it's hard to argue the decision of being like, we're just getting rid of all of these. Honestly, it was only a matter. It was, I was probably it took this long for someone to like try and use the stream to, you know, uh, get away with murder. It happened. I mean, the stream is creepy because I, I actually watched some of it on like a video, and the stream is creepy because hey, he keep he keeps being like, I am to yeah, I'm totally here, guys, but I can't respond to your chat. But I'm definitely at my house playing this game right now, live. And then also he kept he kept like like suddenly f flying into fits of anger and like talking about murder, and then being like, uh, yeah, and like then there's like a, and then it, so it's like apparently he was so consumed with rage as he was playing this dream that he gave himself away multiple times it was a pregnant girlfriend girlfriend as well just yeah all manner of fucked so yeah thanks a uh, guy whose name i know but i'm not gonna give him but I do know his name, but I'm not going to say his name because he doesn't deserve to have Reco any recognition. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve recognition. I don't even know his name, I just know him as Murder Guy. That's good enough. Honestly, probably too good. Fuck him. Yeah. I said, I'm, honestly, I'm amazed it took this long for someone to try that, though. We survived your song. Well, maybe someone has already got, got away with it, we just don't know, because they're actually were, you know, good at staging the stream. Alright, so, all right, so, so I got a plan here, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going to, uh, say we're, we're live streaming one of these, uh, casts, then we're gonna go rob a bank. <laughs> you know what? Sure, why not? Finally, the bank and robbery. If, and, if, and, if, and if someone, if someone tries to be like, no, no, we we were streaming. See? Honestly, honestly how, how could we be robbing a bank when we were too busy making fun of Dan Schlott and Ezra Miller, officer, huh? But here's the real kicker. Um, we're playing no one, payday. no one robs banks anymore, so they probably won't even know what to do. <laughs> yes, uh. <laughs> we're like. Well, they just walked up with these bags full of- with these literal, like, sacks with dollar bill signs on them. We just didn't know what to do. And they were dressed like cartoon robbers from the fucking 30s. It's like, we thought it- we thought it was some kind of, like, online prank video, so we just gave them the money. We thought they'd give it back. Yeah. They were talking like, you know, they were talking like this, like, yeah, see, yeah, they were doing that. I, I thought it was a bit. And then, like, you know, Two days passed, and we didn't see the money. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> you know, I think this is a good place to stop, because I just finished uh, the boss, and there's, like, one more boss, and honestly, it might even be a short one next time. See, Donald, this is how you get away with committing crimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just there become a streamer. <laughs> Donald Trump VTuber win. Hmm. Why did you say that? Because now it's time to leave.